Well, he was going to request Journey, but I basically heard most of the hit greatest hits of Journey, so we're going to be listening to some Steve Perry solo stuff today. Let's do it. Hi guys, welcome to Libre X. Hope everyone's having a good day. I am trying to. Um, dental pain. That's all I'm going to say. Um, we're going to be listening to a track called Oh Sherry, is that what it is? Yeah, Oh Sherry. Um, it was written for his then girlfriend, uh, Sherry, Sherry Shawford, or Swafford, I guess. I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, this was released in 1984 while he was still a member of Journey. Um, I don't know exactly why that happened, but it did. Um, features uh, Bill Cuomo, Randy Goodrum, a um, couple other people too. Oh, Wadi Wachtel's on here. What? Wachtel? I never know how to pronounce it. All right, so this is track one. Who's on here? Anybody interesting? Michael Landau, Bob Glob, <laughs> Gl Glob on bass guitar, and Larry London. So these names, man. Oh, my goodness. Uh, this is, a like I said, a request from our patron, Scott, and um, I'm excited. Let's go. If you all are not subscribed, please help brother out. Click that icon right below my face. I would really appreciate it. And uh, leave a like and a comment, too. Helps with the video and the algorithm. I'd really appreciate it. All right. Oh, Sherry by Steve Perry. Three, two, one, go. Or Cherie. We'll see what it is, I guess. Shot video too. You'd be better off alone if I'm not who no shit. you thought I'd be. But you know what there's a fever. Ooh. Oh, but you never found no less. Catchy as hell. <laughs> Video is awesome. But I should have been gone long ago, far away. And you should have been gone. Now I know you'd lie your style. This instrumental is tight, I'm not gonna lie.
actually the his girlfriend. That's <laughs> why so people just in costumes from the Renaissance Fair. That was honestly pretty good, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I like Journey and this stuff that I've heard, so... I had a feeling that his solo stuff would be just as good, and yeah, it is. Very catchy, just like very... um. It's easy listening, but like not in a negative connotation. It's more of like it's very uh, pleasing to listen to in a way, you know, like it makes you just feel good. Uh, and that instrumentation was tight that whole time. I'm not going to lie, um, especially the guitar, the drums, the whole time. Everything was just and that bass was just thumping, bro, the entire time. Uh, that was Bob Glob. He was a session musician, American bass player. He's played with everybody from Jerry Lee Lewis to Journey to uh, John Fogarty, jo Jackson Brown. He's played with everybody. Crosby, Stills, and Nash. Okay. Um, let's see. Track one. Uh, Waddy Wachtel did the guitar solo right there, which was a sick-ass solo. Um, and then Michael Land Landau did the guitars. Um, Randy Goodrum did the Rhodes. Uh, da -da -da. Bill Cuomo did the synthesizers. And Steve Perry did lead vocals. Um, I think that is it. I don't see anybody else. Oh, yeah. Larry, Larry London on drums. I'm guessing that's how you pronounce it. Uh, yeah, they that was tight. The entire instrumentation, the whole piece, even though it was pretty short, uh, they were having fun with it. They really were. You could tell. Um, I enjoyed the vocals a lot. They're not my exactly like my cup of tea, but I can see why people would like them and why this would be like a big hit if it was. Uh, very catchy, uh, singable chorus, um, very easy to relate to, you know, topic on the, uh, you know, on the video and the song itself. Um, I don't know, man, he has a very distinct, like iconic voice. Like you, you can't mistake it for anybody else, especially with journey and stuff like that. Cause journey got so big. There's so many hits that they've had, you know, around the world. They're famous still. Um, and they're one of the best. They really are like one of the most popular rock bands of all time, and you know Steve was a huge part of that. Um, I think my favorite part of this though would be Waddy Wachtel's guitar solo, and um, yeah, the bass throughout the from Bob Glob. I I hope I'm not saying that wrong, and y'all are gonna be like it's Glob or something like that. You know, I don't know, but it's still really really good. Um, I'd say the bass, uh, guitar solo, all that really really good. Um, and I'm definitely down to listen to more. I don't know any of the journey like deep cuts. I know most of the big like I don't know you'd say like their popular hits, whatever would be on classic rock radio. I probably have heard it, um, but yeah, I've never heard any solo stuff, anything like that. It was really really good, good first listen experience, all that. So thank you, Scott, for saying that. And um, I can agree with the sentiment. Like I um I love my girl more than anything, even though we fight like cats and dogs sometimes. I uh I still love the shit out of her, so I can uh. I understand this song. If, if I'm interpreting it correctly, you know, it's all subjective anyway, but uh, it could be a definitive meaning. It was about his girlfriend. It said he wrote it for her, so it works out. Um, I don't know what else to add. I'd say, yeah, like I said, the guitar solo, definitely my favorite part. Um, and then the vocals, honestly. The vocals are really, really good. He's got a great voice and uh, probably one of the most distinct and iconic voices of that era, you know, compared to any other group from, you know, the 80s and stuff like that. Even though I'm, I'm guessing... I think Journey started in the 70s, obviously, but I, I don't know exactly when they made it big, um, obviously, because I was born in 94, so uh, <laughs> all the stuff I heard from them was on classic rock radio, and they weren't really telling me the charts and stuff like that from the those years, so I don't know, but I know that uh, they were huge, and I see why, man. Uh, they're a great band, so if you guys have any other suggestions by Steve Perry or Journey, leave them down below. I'll definitely check them out, and um, thank you again to Scott. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see y'all later if y'all know a patreon right here that's a picture of it there's a link in the description if you join the 15 dollars tier or up you get one free request a month join any of the tiers get access to all the block videos and full album reactions there are tons of them on there hours and hours of content the beatles blind faith king crimson name it it's on there well don't name it. There's probably tons of stuff you could name. It's not on there, but there's a there's a decent amount. Um, there's also a PayPal and a Cash App link in the description as well if you want to send a tip or request in that way. Yeah, but if you join Patreon, there's a special patrons only Discord, just for us though. Don't tell anyone else about it. 
or you'll get in trouble. Now I'm talking to you like you're my kids. That's weird. I probably should go. Bye-bye.